Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming and my channel I do a variety of lifestyle videos and unboxing and haul videos. Today's video is going to be a huge unboxing from the Timu website, a huge Timu haul with product review. We're to the part two of this unboxing haul from Timu. Um, so the part two is majorly a lot of kitchen items and some household items. I was so excited to check out my box, almost forgot to shout out that there is a 30% off code in my description box if you're interested. Team will actually give my viewers a discount. Okay, let's get into today's video. Super excited because I always seen different YouTubers using this item. So I always wanted to buy one um, because it looks so good in the camera shots. You know, if you do a morning routine videos and things like that, I've seen people drinking like iced matcha, iced coffee in these. So these is these are a, like a glass um, mug with a little wooden lid on top. It is actually really good quality with the glass in the uh, little lid is made with wood with a little hole where you can put the glass straw in so this is the straw that comes with it comes with another thing to clean the straw so this item is what they use to clean the straw it looks so pretty it, it's just like a, such a pretty item I feel like to make b-rolls and stuff I've seen every single youtubers that I watch um, use one of these all right guys the same thing happened i was filming and realized my battery ran out so this is the cup that i got from timu and i just made some um trader joe's matcha green tea powder um these are really really good quality it doesn't have any sugar any creamer it's just pure green tea and of course i spilled some green tea powder on my counter and this is a milk frother basically i just frost the green tea up right here using a little bit of hot water just a very little bit and i already put in some ice as you can see the ice already melted here we go here's some more ice and then on the top we're gonna put milk oh look at the color green tea matcha latte this is a very nice um matcha latte and then you can put the lid from this bottle mm. It's very refreshing. This is what the cup looks like after I put into the green tea, um, ice green tea, ice matcha latte. It just looks so good. And you can see the color. It's just so nice. And I just like to drink from the straw. And guess what? It's glass straw, so it's more environmental friendly as well. So love, love this item. So this is a bottle opener. So basically what it looks like, this is what it looks like. So basically you put it on top of your bottle and you suction it and then you just open it. I, I'm very suspicious to be honest with you guys. That's why I bought it. I just want to see if it works or not because this is what happened. Like recently I've been loving to eat pasta. Um, but you know the pasta sauce in the jar, it's very hard for me to open the darn jar. So I got this thing. The bottle opener, it says it's, it, you can adjust the size to save your strength to open the bottles. But we will see. Alright guys, so let's try this. This is the bottle opener for jars and stuff. It can, it says you can readjust the size. Oh, it's all in Chinese. Um, but I am Chinese, so I can actually read it. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a handlebar. I'm actually very suspicious of this. And this is, I actually failed to open this on camera before when I was trying to do a food review video and then I failed and I was alone in the house. Um, so let's try this. So basically it says to first First, open this as wide as you can and then you come over here and then you go do it like this and then I think rotate it counterclockwise and then you just turn you just turn. it worked oh my god it worked like Oh my god, I was like, it's not working, it's not working, and suddenly something just popped and it worked. Like, do you guys see this? Oh my god, so basically, you, this is adjustable, right? So you basically make it the biggest, and then put it right here, and then you 
turned counterclockwise until it's snug. And then you may you may notice it starts to twist, but you I I kind of use my left hand to just push it, and then when that happened, you just turn left, and then just randomly it just popped. Oh my god, it actually worked. I I don't even know. It's like it didn't work, didn't work, and then randomly it just popped. So I guess it actually works. It's actually working. Okay, so you can see it actually snugged pretty tight. You see the paint from the jar actually, you know, came off a little bit. So you can tell like it actually has a, a lot of force. And then um, it didn't ruin my, you know, jar or cap or anything. You can still rotate back and put it in the fridge if you didn't finish the jar. So guys, it actually worked. So you make it open and then you put it on and then you turn and it's it worked and then i never be able to open this when my husband is not home now i don't need it anymore i just need this it's like oh tight 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 didn't work didn't work and pop it just popped open that's crazy <laughs> all right successful oh my gosh i can't even remember what this was but now that i saw my purchase my purchase record it's a one piece foldable steaming tray retractable steaming tray rack food tray fruit strainer so it looks like this so it has like a three stand and it looks like a little marco polo thing so what you do is you open it and it open it out like a flower and then you can put your steam like bonds or whatever on top and it will stand on any pot and it will fit into a small pot a bigger pot and it has a little bit of the standing thing so it wouldn't touch us it wouldn't touch the water to steam things <gasps> this is this is so interesting it's foldable so afterwards you can just close it like this and then you open like this this is this is so interesting guys um the power of brain in inventions so this one is uh, sold as four dollars and 48 cents so it's about five dollars uh it's stainless steel which is pretty nice i would say which is pretty nice so i got this item Ta -da! this is a portable blender i only got familiar with this concept from costco because i saw like a costco portable blender set with like two blenders for like 76 dollars or something but i was like maybe i can find it cheap from timu i don't know the quality yet but we're gonna try this out i'm gonna insert a clip of using this item to give you guys an honest review what it looks like after filming this video timu actually had a flash sale so there is a discounted link in the description and a comment down below if you want to try it out it's now on sale you can get different colors i believe and it comes with a little um charger so basically like this is the um the power and then when you turn it on the little blender blade will just turn on and what it has right here is that it actually has like a little filter right here so that like you don't have to worry about you accidentally getting stabbed by the blade if anything happens so for this item the charger is a usb to usb-c charger so one side is usb-c that copes with the blender and the other side is a usb charger and you charge it somewhere else and it comes with a strap it's a individual serving cup so according to the manual that comes with it the charging time is about three hours and the single working time is 40 seconds and i think it says every time you charge it you can use it about like 10 to 17 times and it says that accessories of this machine cannot be disinfected by microwave or hot water with heat condition above 50 celsius uh, something important to look at is wash it with soap water instead of like you know super hot water product is exclusive for juice making it's not suitable for stirred meat or other nuts or beans like you know things that are too hard is too much for this item um, mainly just put the fruit and liquid in there do not put anything too harsh in there and honestly i'm a little bit nervous about it because i actually got some frozen mangoes i probably need to defrost it a little bit just because it's all together all right guys we're gonna put in some mango chunks and then we're gonna cut up some strawberries into smaller chunk it says cut your fruit a little bit it smells really good so it looks like this now we're gonna put in 
some apple juice because you need the liquid. I'm not gonna put it too full. This is a, my first time ever using this item actually. I'm gonna close it. So it looks like it's working pretty well actually. I would hesitate to put anything frozen or ice in there because it's more of a juicer than like a blender. So I probably put them, wouldn't put like a super like solid ice in there. I'll just, you know, cut up some fruit in the morning and take it with me and then maybe just like um, shake it, do the shake. Alright, so now let's see, it has become like somewhat of a juice type of texture. So let's take a look at the consistency of this juice. It feels actually pretty consistent. Actually, it seems pretty good. And you just open this and you drink it like this. So basically, you drink it like this. Actually, it tastes pretty good. And it's so quiet. You can literally do it in the office and no one will hear it. You can only cut like fruit. I don't think you can do like ice or whatever but because it's not as powerful as like the powerful blenders it's not gonna make a noise so i think a long time ago when i was living with roommates every one of my roommates they were sleeping and the whole idea of making strawberry uh, milkshake was like so hard because like you know my blender made a huge noise and everyone just woke up and they hated me for it because i had to teach a morning class during the graduate school but these are so quiet so if you're not trying to put like anything too icy or solid too hard to, for it to blend. It's actually perfect if you live with roommates or if you live with husband or kids. Does it compare with the 400 Ninja or 400 Vitamix? Definitely no. Like you can't compare like a 10, $20 blender with like $400 blender, but it also doesn't make any noises. And it's also super portable and it's just individual serving. So I think it's actually pretty good. Like I can see college students or like moms with young kids and a husband use it in the morning. It's just so quiet and also portable. All right, so the next item is actually a plate item. I bought this because, you know, I'm a food blogger. I make a lot of dumplings. I review a lot of foods and dumplings from different websites. So I bought these are the dumpling plates. They're so cute. They come with different colors. Um, they're just plastic ones. So, you know, you don't have to worry about like breaking it. Um, but Basically, you put dumplings here and you put the sauce here and it's individually served So if some people like hot oil in their sauce, you can put hot oil in right here But if they don't like it, you can just put soy sauce and vinegar or whatever Like you can basically make your individual sauce in a little like dumpling sauce like pocket So I think it's pretty cute to serve dumplings Especially pot stickers in these to have a, like individual sauce in these So I got two of them So the next items, I actually bought a bunch of these These are the tons um, our cat actually broke one of the ones we have. So these are just normal tons for the kitchen. I bought some extra ones for my husband's new kitchen in the office. Their new office has like a full-on kitchen, which is pretty nice to eat healthy, to cook food um, during during the lunch hour and not just eat out. It's just gonna save money and eat healthier. So I bought a bunch of tons from um, Timu, and those are just the same quality as our local grocery store. So they look like this, and then you push it in, and then it just open. It it's the exact same quality of a local grocery store, but like half of the price. So I think these kitchen items are really good from Timu. So I think a lot of people are like asking about the quality and stuff. So I think these items are just this exact same quality of like of the local grocery store. Because of course everything is made in China. So they're probably having the same source of factories and stuff like that. So the next item is a kitchen strainer. We've been eating a lot of spaghetti and stuff, but I also wanted to like there are different recipes where you have to strain the things to make sure it thins out the batter or whatever. So these are really good. It comes with three sizes of the kitchen strainer you can use the smaller one or medium one or the big one i probably will use the big one as you know mostly but if you like strain something into a cup you can definitely put the smaller and it comes with little things you can put it on top of a container a bowl or a plate so it comes in diff three different sizes and it's pretty good quality it's just like our local grocery store most of these items are pretty good quality especially the metal ones with the plastic ones it's kind of like like the Asian dollar store that you can find like Daiso and things like that 
Um, but the metal ones, if you buy anything like made with metal, they're usually a little bit better quality. Like, all right, so the next item is actually I bought it just because I'm interested and it's like available on Timu. These are the gigantic chopsticks. So you may ask, like, why do you need gigantic chopsticks that are this huge? So if you eat anything like for example, like hot pot or like Korean barbecue or things like that, you need a longer chopstick so like the soup or whatever it doesn't splash onto your like pans or whatever. It's just like for protection. So when we eat at like a hot pot restaurant, they use these to you know get the food from the uh, hot pot. And I thought it was interesting. So I bought a pair, uh, actually two pairs of these long chopsticks, and they are made with metal. I also bought some regular sizes chopsticks. Uh, from Timu and they're really really good quality. These are the ones I bought uh, five pairs in total So um, if you wanted to buy chopsticks highly recommend you get these metal ones. Why? Because um, First of all if you use a dishwasher like usually wooden utensils are not dishwasher safe second of all if you bought like wooden chopsticks, you have to change to a new set every six months because bacteria, they do build up in wooden chopsticks. However, if you buy the metal chopsticks, you can just put it in the dishwasher and also the bacteria, they don't just build into the metal. Uh, we used to buy these like bamboo chopsticks, but they're like so fancy, but we have to switch them out every six months just for like, you know, sanitary safety reasons. But if you get these metal ones, they are basically good for forever. You can put them in the dishwasher as well. So got some chopsticks from Timu, really good quality. These are pretty much the same quality as H Mart, but H Mart sell these like, I think I got five pairs from H Mart like over $10. It's like $2 per pair versus in Timu they're way cheaper and they're made with metal. So highly recommend if you wanted to try to use chopsticks, get these metal ones from Timu. They're really good quality and they're also safe to you know use it for a long time. This may seem like a little interesting. So this is the first time I got it. So basically this is a fish fryer. Basically if you try to pence your fish or whatever or fillet, it's very hard to get the fish out of the pan because the fish they shatter so easily compared to like steak or chicken breast or pork chop. So I found this item. So basically you go in here into the pot and you grip into this fish and then you can flip it. I think that is a pretty interesting item, right? Especially if you suck. If you're like me who suck at making fish, this may be the one for you. I think it's actually a pretty good tool for like $2. It's not expensive at all, but it probably makes your life way easier. So if you got a non-stick pan, highly recommend you using wooden spatula instead of like the other spatula um, or wooden or silicon are both good. If you have like metal ones, it may actually break the layer of your nonstick pan. So these are also these are really fancy. <laughs> I bought it also because it looked really good. It comes in like a set of five actually. Come from the bigger ones to medium and this one has holes and then to a little bit smaller. So I think these are pretty nice spatula also they look so cool i think i may actually give them to my husband <laughs> like i feel like it's a nice spatula it looks it just looks so expensive and fancy if you give someone this as a christmas present they wouldn't know the price they wouldn't guess the price the price the five piece wooden spatula cookware is nine dollars and 19 cents and i got in the color of brown i feel like if you give them as like a set as a present, you put it in a nice bo box, people would think, oh, these are probably $20, but these are just $9. I think I'll just give it to my husband's new fancy kitchen. What do you guys think? I think they look really, really cute. It just looks fancy. So this is actually a repurchase. I already have one, but I think I bought this one for my husband's kitchen. These are a godsend. I use it to wash my fruit a lot. So what it is, it's basically a basket and you can put fruit or vegetables here to wash them and you can just hand them by the kitchen sink. It's so easy because it's adjustable. So some kitchen sinks are smaller, some of them are wider and you just hand them in there 
and you wash your fruit. I already got a gray one, so I got a beige color. It's so convenient. My actually, my husband said this is the best purchase I've ever made <laughs> from Timu for my last Timu haul. So I bought another one for him because he loved it so so much. And this one is actually really cheap. Like, I think like this is the best design ever because I've got something like this from a local grocery store before, and they don't latch really well to our sink. This item is priced as $3.89. That's a pretty good price. Um, it's so useful. I use it every single day because I eat fruit every single day. So it's basically a ladle with holes, but the holes are only at one side. So if you want the soup, if you want to, you know, get the soup, you can just use it, ladle it this way. But if you're, let's say, oh, that's too much soup for me, you can't just drain it on the other side. This is perfect. We make a lot of wonton soup, and this is perfect because before I will have to use two ladles, one ladle with with the holes to get the wontons and one ladle without the holes to get the soup. Now I just use one ladle and if I feel like it's, you know, I want to drain the soup, I can just tilt it a little. This is like a perfect design. Whoever invented this is a genius. So I think like all ladles should be designed like this. So I don't have two, we don't need two items. So I got two of these, one in blue, one in pink. That's pretty cheap, right? I feel like even if we go to the Japanese dollar store, this would be like $3. I don't know, like the dollar. I got it for myself, but I was like also somewhat getting it for my kid. Cause when I was a kid, I remember I used to make popsicles with my grandpa. Like we would put milk, watermelon, and watermelon shake or watermelon juice or whatever to make popsicles. This is like the popsicle like mold and it comes with these to make popsicles and you put a cover and you put it right here. And once it basically get frozen, you will shake it, shake it because this is actually silicon. So it's so easy to shake it and move and then you get it up and then you can just leak it through here. This is something really, really fun that I used to do with my grandpa. Um, I think back then we didn't have ice cream. Like, I think I only ate ice cream in the ice cream store. I never had like, you know, bought ice cream and eat it at home. It's always like, oh, we go out to the ice cream store. Um, but if we don't go out to the ice cream store, we always make popsicles at home. It's just so much fun. My favorite flavor is actually the milk flavor. Just make sure you get the whole milk and you put the whole milk in there and it's just very nice and it has a very nice flavor. I really like it. Or you can use the chocolate milk. All right guys, I bought these as a kitchen strainer. Um, so basically, our cat, our cat chewed all the way through our, through our kitchen strainer thing. So I bought two kitchen strainers because my cat was actually chewing on the, the rubber ones. So I got two metal ones. Perfect on the left side, perfect fit, and perfect on the right side. This is the one that my cat destroyed. Look. <gasps> My garbage dispenser is just all gone. <laughs> yup, that's the break when you adopt a stray cat. <laughs> but I think it's easy for my cat to actually take them out. So like I I have two cats, both of them are stray, but the younger cat that used, was just a stray not long ago will still like do questionable things around the kitchen strainer. So I got these, so when we strain things, it's just pretty easy. Pretty good quality for what it is, and it's pretty cheap. Um, so these two sink strainer were $2 for two. So it's like a dollar each, it's kind of like a dollar store thing. So like I said, I, we have two cats, and previously in my channel, a lot of people are like, oh, your cats jump onto the counter, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, if you got stray cats who are living outside for years and then suddenly got into the house, you want to tell them not to jump on the counter when the counter is completely white? It's impossible. Cat likes white surface. In our old house where our counter is not white, our cat actually don't like to jump on them. But now like we have white countertops in our bathroom, our table, and our counter. It's impossible. Like you can teach your kid cats things you don't like them to do, but they will do it when you're not watching. Watching, like a hundred percent so we don't eat off our counter we don't make a pasta or whatever off counter so I bought this mat if I want to make like pasta or make a dolls I basically just put this mat down so 
<laughs> the counter the counter is not clean you can of course you can clean it before you cook but it's just weird that if our cat goes to the counter and we make food off of it so now i got this sticky mat that you basically stick it on the counter and you can make any like you can make pasta if you want you can make dumplings whatever um it's like a bakery thing and it's pretty cool it's pretty big i would say it's not too big non-slip adhesive on one side i think it's a pretty good purchase especially like if you have cats if you don't want to eat off counters like this are pretty good so oh i almost forgot about this i was like what is this but i remember when i bought it i was really excited for different purposes at home but this is a mat but it doesn't have this like weird ruggy things so your um your little Roomba can go like my little vacuum can go so this is a uh, diatom mud oval shaped classic floor mat this is six dollars and 88 cents it has different sizes i believe so this is the size and you can put it in front of the bathtub so this i think this is a nice item especially that like sometimes like those bath rug the bathtub rugs or mat they they're so thick my little vacuum it doesn't vacuum there well i think this will be okay so, yeah. so sometimes i use the clorox wipe it's not healthy um it has chemicals so i can't clean better uh, if i use the clorox wipes it doesn't hurt my hand so i bought some gloves from this website this is just for cleaning household or a dollar 19 cents i think at the local grocery store they're like five dollars but these are like just a little bit over a dollar i got a pair of yellow i always struggle to clean the bathroom mirror and every time i every time i brush my teeth wash my hands the water are on the <laughs> the mirrors so this one is actually a window cleaner so basically this is what it looks like supposedly it's supposed to help you to clean and then it also comes with this a brush so you can use it to brush things i guess also and then you can also use the brush separately and you can put it back together and the brush can use to help you to clean the windows so this is not just to you know clean your mirrors and you can also use it to clean the windows but i think i will mainly just use it to clean the the mirrors the next item is oh this is a <coughs> this is a bathroom essential a body scrub i've been having a hard time scrubbing my back these days so this is perfect to wash my back or scratch my back i wish that they invented something to put your lotion on your back because now it's these days it's hard for me to reach the back <clears throat> especially after i got pregnant um so this will help but i want something to put lotion on my back as well but this is i got the lavender color and i also got a pink color so i got one for me one for my husband i guess i mostly bought it because i want to use it to clean our <laughs> bathtub <laughs> actually i saw a bathtub scrubber and i really wanted to buy it but it was out at the time of purchase it's kind of interesting this is the pink 3d bath scrub sponge basically to scrub yourself um but i mainly bought it <laughs> to scrub our bathtub <laughs> i really but this is so spongy guys like you can use it to stuff like it has like this very nice cooling sensations i would say but i want to use it to scrub our bathtub so i got two more clippers last time when i got it it worked really well um they're nothing fancy these are just chip clippers so these are a dollar 39 cents for two piece moisture proof ceiling it's pretty tight it works pretty well and i got this thing this is a lunch box to be honest like it's smaller than i thought it was um i wish it's a little bit bigger so what i love about this is it has like insulation right here so sometimes if we want to carry something that we want to keep it cold we can use it to carry it is a little bit smaller than i than i wish it was because i want it to be a little bit bigger if i give my husband some food to or whatever i wish it's a little bit bigger 
um, but it's actually pretty good quality when it comes to the insulation and then like you know the fabric and everything looks pretty okay and I do really like the insulation um, that's way, but that's what makes lunchbox special is like you can keep the item somewhat cool or hot for a longer period of time without like you know compared to without it so this is what it is and it looks it looks pretty cute right it looks pretty cute but this is a sticker that I got from the nursery <laughs> It's a nursery item. It's a sticker that we're gonna put in our kids' nursery to measure the growth. <laughs> it's a it's like a sticker to the wall. Like so, this is what it looks like once you put it on. Um, it's not as easy as I thought, honestly. We'll just have to measure it ourselves first and then put it on. Um, I haven't decorated my nurseries yet, but I think this will be really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much today's haul. New items for the kitchen and the household. I hope this haul can be helpful to you. And also I'm genuinely like curious about some of the items. So like, why don't we try it out? I'll make videos for you guys. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you haven't checked out my part one of the Timu haul, make sure you check it out. And also like comment down below, what's your favorite things to buy for Timu? What's your favorite things that you recommend? You can also link it down below. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And also consider subscribe. We're getting so close to 10,000 subscribers. So you support really mean the world to me to continue producing content for you guys and to have fun. Alright, that's it for today's video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!